Uh, the thing is that that is possibly right now the biggest negative that he has, uh, Charlie Rangel has. Uh, for the past 10 or 15 years, uh, 16 years, he, Charlie Rangel, had run on the platform that he would become the next chairman of the Ways and Means Committee the moment Democrats conquered the House. Well, they did that, and he had to step aside mm -hmm. as a result of these investigations. So right now, unless he can retain uh, or regain that chairmanship from which he stepped down temporarily, uh, he will have very little uh, to base any future runs uh, on. Uh, I want to quote Yogi Berra, deja vu all over again. Uh, uh, Rangel ran years ago against uh, uh, Adam Clayton Powell. Who was under uh, a cloud. Exactly, under a cloud and was spending a, a lot of time in Bimini. Uh, had some issues with a numbers runner. That so he allegedly in one case it was, yeah, numbers runners. In this case it would be some of his contributors. In the other case it was uh, Bimini. In this case it might be the Dominican Republic condo and the picture exactly, in the post exactly. of him reclining but, in the seat. I, I, it's, I've had the opportunity to, to uh, uh, interview uh, Vince Morgan, uh, who's one of his opponents, and, and Vince has made it clear that it's time for a change, that uh, Congressman Rangel's been, uh, been there a little too long, and it's time for, for the new generation to step in. Uh, I've also had the opportunity to interview uh, Jonathan Tassini when he was running then against uh, Senator Gillibrand. Okay. And uh, uh, Jonathan is a, is a very labor, you know, he's a, a labor man. Uh -huh. he's a, he was part of, I think, the Writers Union. Uh -huh. He was part of that lawsuit against the New York Times. Okay. And, uh, and I think that Jonathan's base would be considered the West Side. If, uh, okay. if, you, if you look at some of his positions and his politics. So, uh, you know, I, I think that they are all going to eventually, if they haven't yet, uh, they're definitely going to go after uh, uh, Charlie Rangel's ethical uh, record. Well, uh, is, there, is there the possibility now, uh, that if there are these many candidates running, that on the one hand, uh, you might say, it, it, once it, it uh, you know, narrows down, if it does, that uh, Reverend Faulkner stands some chance because there are so many others in the Democrats that are running, and, and if no one gets a majority, and then what happens in November? I, I, again, I, I, I don't think that the, the Reverend Faulkner has much. Again, look at the, the voting population of the district. Even if you include the, 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 the people that are moved in, they're overwhelmingly Democrat. Mm -hmm. There are people that really, in some cases, vote on the Democratic line, regardless of the candidate. I'm voting Democrat. 